Our team coverage tonight continues with Mason Morrow and more on the link between earthquakes and wastewater disposal. Seismic activity in the Sooner State. Trembles hours east felt in Tulsa. The Oklahoma Corporation Commission oversees oil and gas activity in the state. A spokesperson tells Two Works For You the agency is investigating water waste disposal wells near Covington, Oklahoma. There are uh, wells in the area that have had to reduce the amount of produced water that they injected into those disposal wells. Fracking is historically thought to incite seismic activity in rich oil drilling Oklahoma. But the OCC and seismologists say water waste disposal injections are more likely culprits for quakes. Inject that wastewater that produced water deep into the Earth's surface, far past aquifers and away from drinking water. Hydraulic fracturing, better known as fracking, happens after oil drilling. Drillers pump oil, water, chemicals, and sand into rock to produce more oil. This causes hazardous wastewater to rise from the ground. The OCC says the water is loaded into trucks, driven off-site to wells, and shot deep down into the earth again. This raises pressure levels and can force strain on fault lines, increasing the likelihood of earthquakes. But fracking is the focus at the national level. President Joe Biden signed an executive order to ban new leases for fracking on federally owned land. The OCC says that shouldn't have much of an impact here. From what we have learned uh, this far is that it would affect leases that are happening in federal land and there is no federal land for oil and gas leasing in Oklahoma to speak of. That's Mason Morrow reporting. Now, the o Corporation Commission can't say the same for states like New Mexico, which they say rely heavily on federal land for oil. President Biden has said he will not ban all fracking.